Hello, this is Mrs. Corner, and we are going to have our very first science lesson of this year. And during second grade, we learn all about um, planting and growing and plants. And one of the plants that's around you right now, all the time that you see, and you probably see changing, are trees. So we're gonna have a mini lesson today about trees and leaves and why those leaves are changing into so many cool colors. First thing I'm gonna do is read you a nice book by flipping this. And this book is called Fall Leaves Change Color. It's one of my favorite books. And here we go, we'll learn a lot from it. It's fall and you can feel a chill in the air. All around you, the trees are beginning to change. Oh boy, and they really are. In your backyard, in the park, along the country roads, trees are putting on their autumn colors. Definitely. Their leaves are turning yellow, orange, tan, and red. That's my puppy crying in the background. Her ball is stuck under the couch. In summer, most leaves are green. All summer long, something amazing is happening in those leaves. This is super cool. Take a closer look. They are taking in sunshine, air, and water, and they're making food. And I want you to think when you see a leaf, that leaf is the food source. That's the power source for that tree. The green coloring in the leaves is called chlorophyll. Notice how that is. We get to see how to pronounce it. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll helps the leaves take in light from the warm summer sun. Leaves also have tiny openings for letting air in. From the air, leaves get a special gas called carbon dioxide. So they take in air and they take in light and they make food. That's the main thing to remember. After a, tree, after a rain, the tree's roots take up water from the ground. Water moves into the leaves. Using sun, light from the sun, green leaves can turn water and carbon dioxide into sugar, which is the food they need. The sugar moves from the leaves to all the parts of the tree. Sugar is a special food that makes trees live and grow. That's my puppy drinking. <laughs> As summer ends, the days get shorter. The nights will get longer and autumn will soon be here. And that's what we're experiencing. Now it's getting darker so much earlier. Leaves get less and less light each day. This tells the trees that it's time to stop making food and the leaves begin to die or change color. So the days are shorter. It's not that it's getting colder out, it's that there's less light. The chlorophyll or the green in the leaves fade away and their color changes. And Mrs. Corner calls that changing to their true colors. No more wearing camouflage. If it's an orange leaf, that's what we're gonna see as the green fades away. Each leaf loses its green color slowly. As the chlorophyll fades, other colors in the leaf begin to show some the leaves of some trees turn yellow, orange or yellow. Beautiful. These colors are in the leaves all summer, but the strong green of the chlorophyll hides them. So it's always been there. It's just like they've been wearing a jacket, a green jacket of chlorophyll. The leaves of other trees turn red or purple. Those beautiful maples are just glowing right now. Sunny days and cool autumn nights make the sugar in the leaves turn red or purple. As the green color in the leaf fades, the color of the sugar shows through. Some will turn a tan or a brown. We're going to talk about those maples or those oak trees. I'm sorry, those are the oaks. In, the, in these leaves, there's a color called tannin shows through as the green fades. Some of you might have a big oak tree by your house. There's one right outside our school. There are some kinds of leaves that are going to always stay green. We kind of call them evergreens. Um, they have some tough, narrow little leaves called needles. And, but the other leaves, the other trees, we call deciduous. They drop all their leaves, and that's what we will see soon in our neighborhoods. So we're going to take a quick look at three different kinds of leaves that you can find by the school. We've got maple leaves, and I like to remember it, M-A-P-L-E, 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 and maple was its name. You can find an oak tree right out in front of our school. And I like to say that you can see the O for oak, kind of like a little Cheerio you could put right in each of those lobes to help you remember that's an oak tree. These have got some rounded edges on the sides, whereas the maples are very pointy. Oh, and the third one is a willow. 
You can find willow trees out front and out back of our school, and I hope you can find some around your neighborhood.